everyone so in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how I did this pretty look probably what I'm gonna be wearing for Christmas I'm not exactly sure but I wanted to get out at least one video for you guys um, to do for Christmas so this is what I came up with I didn't really want to do something that was like really traditional Christmas like red and green I don't think that's very fun red and green does not go together okay I don't think it's cute and I don't like it yeah, that's what I came up with. I hope that you guys enjoy this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! The first thing that I'm going to do is prime my eyes. I'm going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Fair, and I'm just going to put this all over my eye. I've already done my eyebrows. This is seriously one of the best concealers at the drugstore. I think it's really one of the best concealers, period but it's all you know, opinion. It has quite a bit of coverage and I just really like the finish of it too. I'm using this sponge. I, this is actually my older sister's sponge and I just noticed how soft it was and I was like, oh my gosh, I wanna use that. Now I'm gonna go into my janky palette and I'm gonna be mixing, um, I believe, let me look for you guys. This is, the white one is Mac Gesso. Mac Brulee, so I'm just mixing both of them, putting it everywhere. I'm gonna grab this Sonia Kashuk brush that's just kind of like a big fluffy brush, and I'm gonna use ColourPop um, Making Moves, it's kind of this corally color. I'm gonna build this color up quite a bit. It doesn't really matter what the color looks like here because as you can see over here that gets covered up anyways no I'm sorry I'm gonna be switching into a lot of different colors and palettes but if you have a color that you know is pretty similar to it then just go ahead and use that I'm gonna take the color cliche right here and um, use a Mac 217 it's kind of a fluffy brush and then just packing it here I'm not taking it all the way onto the inner part either. We're gonna keep this mostly blank. It's okay if you get a little bit of shadow there, but you're not really focusing on that. You're focusing on the outer corner. I'm gonna go back into Making Moves by ColourPop. Now I'm gonna be taking the color Dark Damson right here. This brush right here. Here on this outer part. Going back in with Cliché now. You can see I cleaned my brush off first. And I'm gonna just... I'm gonna work this out pretty far too, but if you don't want it to be that dramatic or that smoky, then you don't have to do that. Now, um, we're gonna do like this orangey color right there, kind of an orangey tone. So orangey, I just think it looks really good with really berry tones. So I'm gonna take the shade Venetian Red right here do not even look at this be up modern renaissance palette but it is in the modern <laughs> i'm embarrassed but anyways so i'm going to take that and i'm going to mix it a little bit with that pinkier color that we used um, at the top so it just makes it look a little bit more rich i'm using this random brush it's like i don't even know where it's from it's from like claire's or something it's called dance in the dark and it's kind of a charcoal oops a charcoal gray kind of color and I'm just gonna be packing that here to blend that out in the crease I'm gonna take deep damson I'm gonna try the color scene right here in this outer part to blend it out I'm gonna use whatever color is left on this brush Blend out that top area. A little bit of eye makeup remover to just take this off. All of this fallout Morphe. I really cannot say that I recommend Morphe. Um, just because I feel like my ColourPop shadows do better. Okay, I'm going to highlight my brow bone with a highlighting shade I know that I love. This is in the Naked Smoky palette, 13, and I'm using a pencil brush 
taking it right under the brow bone. Put it here on this inner part of my eyeball as well. I was thinking about doing more like um, voiceovers, but I think I just like sitting here and talking to you guys and talking you through the process. For this area here, Amber Lights, which is this one. Excuse my nubby nails. Um, and I'm gonna use, actually, you know what? Don't excuse them, I don't care. I don't care. Um, so I'm gonna take that on this brush and pack it on this inner part. I'm gonna grab a clear lash glue. This is like a little baby, ooh, ooh. This is a little baby lash glue. I got it in some like cheap eyelash set, I think. I'm using this Jessie's Girl eye dust. You gotta press it in. Look how beauty miss. Beauty miss. Let me talk about this eyeliner I'm about to use. I love this baby. LA Colors. It's cheap. It's cheap, 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 cheap. LA Colors Graphics Eyeliner in the shade Black. It's so cheap and it's so good. Now there are a few cons to it as well and if you are not the best with working with eyeliner then you might not like it. But the longevity of it is awesome and it's super black. Um, it is just slightly difficult to work with because it's very liquidy. I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara and just apply a little bit of it. These are the lashes that I'm gonna use. They look really janky. You can see the lash. Oh, is it showing you guys good detail? Oh, it is. Oh my God, I did not realize the camera quality was this good. And apply. You'll be able to put a lash on that easily one day. A little highlight on the inner part. I haven't done that to this one yet. I'm gonna use um, NYX Lip Liner in the shade Prune. I like using lip liners for my lower lashes because they don't set, so I can blend it. This is the perfect brush for your lower lashes. Let me show it to you guys. It is like a blending brush, but it's also kind of pointed, so it is just very ideal for your lower lashes. Cliche, 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 cliche. Like scene now. Just put on that lower part there. It's good to put that powder there too because if you have fallout like that, you can just brush it away. Put that there. Get the hair. Ugh. Okay. Boy, now I'm gonna use this huge brush and just as soon as I start to film a video, it's like chaos. I don't, I don't understand. Um, so I'm gonna use this Healthy Skin Custom Glow Blush and Bronzer. It, I just think it looks good with this look. You see, the warmth, it looks good with it. And oh my gosh, this brother is just so pretty. For contour, I'm gonna be using the Bahama Mama Bronzer. It, or use that. I used um, my Tarte one that I always use, but it's in a drawer that I can't really get to right now. So I like this one anyways. It makes it slightly more dramatic. And I am still not finished with the face and bronzing. Look at this beaut. This is MAC Gold Deposit. It is disgusting on the bottom. I'm sorry, guys. So use this big stippling brush. And just, just put it a little here. Can you guys see that? How pretty it is? It just adds a little bit of color. That is not different at all. Everyone uses Becca Opal, but I'm sorry. Okay, so I've got this little baby one, and it's just awesome. So I'm going to get a lot. Makeup Mist and Set. Let's do 
a little. Using this pigment called Excite Teardrop but Pencil Brush. And you can use water, honestly. And you can do it underneath your brow bone too if you want, but I just think um, I like the brow bone matte. For the lip color, I'm gonna be using um, Matte Frappuccino from Jordana. It's their modern matte line. And just to kind of highlight the center a little bit, you guys know I love doing that, I'm gonna use MAC, um, I'm sorry, I don't know what it's called, it rubbed off. Here is the look. And it makes your eyes look really blue. 